Right, g'day team. I hope you're all well. I've got a uh, good little session today. Uh, 36 minutes of work, so just three 12 minute pieces. Um, first one, it's really just going to chug along. We're just going to get some good, good U2 work, uh, good fitness work, uh, getting a good rhythm, good zone, uh, you know, looking for some really good split, just ticking along. Um, and then the last two, we're just going to step up the rates. Okay, so it's sort of a mixture. Um, you know, ultimately that first part, we want to get a big, good puff on, good working rate, know what split we can hold at that sort of 20 rate. And then we basically jump into the next ones and we just want to see improvement. Okay, it's all we're trying to do each time. So, you know, I'm going to give you a round figure here. If you're doing two minutes at 20 rate, and you're getting a good puff on, that's your zone, that's where your heart rate's like feeling like it's about 80% of your max, then when you go to the next one, and the next one we want to see the same split there, and then ultimately we want to see it quicker, and then we want to see it quicker again. Okay, that's what we always talk about. But this whole 80%, 75 to 80% max place is what your aerobic building zone is. Okay, a um, lot of science behind it. Um, you know, if you can put yourself in that position, you're really starting to get a good aerobic zone and you're just pushing along. So that's what we're trying to achieve. Now, it's hard. Like if you've got a heart rate monitor, great. If you don't, it's got to have a sort of a feeling of I'm working, I'm breathing quite heavy, but I can't feel my chest, my heart going like out of my chest. You can feel it beating and it's at a good, good rate. Um, and you want to be in a position and... <laughs> For me, I want to be in a position where I find it hard to talk, <laughs> which I do sometimes. I'm sitting here going, well, I suck it in, suck it in before I can take another breath. That's the sort of area that we want to be into this aerobic zone. Okay, so without further ado, let's go. We're going to get, we're going to rip into it, raise my drag a bit. Um, just go back into your intervals again, time, 12 minute sections on the set time. And just set one minute rest time because we're not going to have much rest. I was going to do less, but I thought actually a minute will give us a little bit more clarity. Okay, so it's three 12 minute pieces. We're just going to tick along, get into a good zone, make sure we're working well. And remember, we're doing this all together. So just listen to the bits and pieces that I'm talking about technically. And, um, you know, and we can get some really good, good advances on, on all our work. Just from that. Oh, I've got my sound on. It's giving me a beeping. All right. Oh, well, let's go. So 12 minutes at 20. And hopefully you've done a good warm-up. I always get on here, do it two or three, four minutes before I actually start working. So even though you don't see me doing it, definitely doing a little bit to, to get the body limbered up. Okay, here we go. Now... Straight away. Getting into that zone. Cruising along. Really good. Nice rhythm. Starting to push those numbers down. Feeling the hang. Getting that stretch. Yeah, nice. Trying to feel loose. Getting limber.
Feeling that pressure right through the drive. Good. Listen to your machine. That's good. Remember both feet. Feel that push away. That's good. Really good rhythm. Good flow. Feel that movement. Remember, long arms. Hang off it. Good. Feel that momentum round the back. Hands lead away. Change in direction. Around the front, around the back. Good. It's nice. Feel that body coming off the legs. Nice solid press. Good. Sitting tall. Heads up. Feeling that good solid press. I'm going to be working quite well. into our zone, might feel a little bit out of breath, just your body adapting, putting it under a little bit of stress. Good. Good rhythm. Feel the change. The swing.
as we come forward. Weight on the feet. Coil. Spring away. Nice. Really good. Good rhythm. Good hang. Good flow. Sitting tall. Nice and loose in the shoulders. Good press. Really nice. Very good flow. Remember, don't have to slam it into the body. Handle comes to us. Movement around. <clears throat> really good. Good momentum. Nice. Good push. Remember, pushing that body weight while we hang off the handle. Really good. Rhythm. Feel it flow. Nice. Shaking it out. Keeping it loose. Right to the end.
Good. Okay. First one down. So really good. Good start. By knowing how your breathing is, by knowing how you feel with your muscles right now, should be the sort of zone that you want to work towards for sort of fitness, okay? I'm starting to get my sweat on. Like even, it does take some experience, but by knowing if you can get up around that sort of 80% of your max heart rate, that's training zone, okay? 70, 75 to 80, very easy calculation. If you can hit 200, which most of us can't, it's 160, you know? <clears throat> 180 is your max. Work it out. Here we go. We're back into it. So we get back on that 20. Four minutes at each. So with this, we give it 30 seconds to get back on our speed. Suck it in. Feel that push. Push and swing. Good. Accelerate. Even though there's a lot of resistance, we still try to feel the handle coming in to us. Good. Sitting tall. Really nice. Remember, nice long arms, sitting forward, loose, supple through here. Want to be set just before the catch. Good. Nice. Back into your zone. Now the whole idea when we change the rating We don't want the heart rate to spike too much. It's going to come up only slowly over the period of time. Things work a little bit quicker. We look for more relaxation. Focus connection now around the front, feel the feet and push away. Remember, leave the arms out long. Good. Changes. Right, ready to focus. Here we go. 
So remember, just move it a little bit quicker. Ready? Move the hands. Hit that. That's it. Just look for a couple of splits, change. Leg drive will just feel faster. Body comes through quicker. Hands still coming to us. Good. Loose. Relaxation. Good. Nice freedom. Breathing. Remember, it's all about efficiency. Little body weight. Good. Nice rhythm. Feel the rhythm. Hold the length. As we roll into the front, change direction. Good. Really good. Remember, it's a metronome. It's a continuous motion. Really good. Here we go, changing. Now. Remember, more speed. Only with acceleration, freedom. Nice. 
Really good. We just want to tap it along. That's really good. Breathing. Remember, composure. Just feel like we're tapping it along. Move the hand. Compress. Send away. Good. Good tap. You just start to get into a zone, into a rhythm. Good. All the way. Really good. Good second one. So, just to give you an idea, my heart rate went up nine beats a minute over that course of that, okay? So once I got back to what I was doing, it's sort of 155, and then I finished at 164, okay? And that's pretty much around my training zone. So for me, that was perfect. You know, and there's a slight increase, but we're still U2 at that 24, because we're not... Once your heart rate goes up a little bit further, it means the body's trying to get out a little bit more lactate and more oxygen into the body. It means you could possibly be working a little bit too hard. Okay, here we go. Straight back into it. Short rest periods. This is going to be a good 12 minutes of work. Okay, bang on to it. Get onto that split. Back on your 20 split. Yeah, good, come on. That's it. Push. Swing. Feel the hang. Good. Accelerate. Listen to your machine. Breathe.
Yeah, feel the swing off the feet. Good. Nice rhythm. Excuse me. Sitting tall. The left press from the front. Good. That's nice. Nice press. Hang. Breathing. Coming down to our first change. Here we go. Remember, acceleration. Yep. Good. Watch the numbers flick down. Link. Carry. Swing. Momentum. Nice focus. Good hang. Then the hands come to us. Good. Good flow. Right, changing. 24. Now. Accelerate. Press. The 
rhythm. Hands around the back. Sit up. Hips up. Chest up. And the lats. Hang. Press both feet. Remember to push. Coil. Sprint. Open the mouth. Breathe. Keep it composed. <laughs> Good. Momentum. Remember the hand. Change. Here we go, last one. Now, it's all about freedom. Accelerate. Natural power with movement. Speed of movement. Good. Momentum. Get in that zone. Tick tock. Pendulum. Make it easy. Hang. All the way, hang. Extension and length. It's 
sitting tall. Breathe. Relax the face. All the way. Really good. Nice. Great work, team. Really good. Very good sweat going on there. So as those ratings increase, ultimately we're trying to make it as efficient as possible. Yes, it's hard. I know it's hard. But it's all about that acceleration. The hand speed, you know, like that there, taking us back. We finish and we sweep around. We don't have to go and then try and get out. It's always about that sweep and momentum that I always talk about around the back. Just click your menu, put it into the memory. And it's the same, you know, if you get that there, it takes you to the front and then you spring off the front. You know, we can do that. We're moving around. That's the whole idea of making it more efficiently easier. Okay? Don't worry, I'm not mincing my words. It is literally about being efficient because we ultimately want to get back to the next stroke without being, well, I've got to get to the next one or without, because without, the thing is, with, when, it, when sometimes you'll see me and I feel like I've finished here in front of the body, because sometimes when you're going a bit quicker, there's no point in getting that little bit of the stroke. It doesn't do anything. Whereas if you can go like this, you're back out and you're already over. Momentum switch. Okay? And because that's hung for so long off here, hang, hang, hang. From there to here is weak. The only thing that's pulling it in is like, <laughs> not happening. Okay, but, and if you create that momentum off the front, it'll happen for you. The moment, if you don't, and you just get a little bit less body, or the body's gone too early, that there's a really weak movement, and it'll make your arms really tire in the last part, okay? But otherwise, great workout. You know, we've, we want to mix it up, but we also don't want to overdo ourselves. Now, we're never going to overdo ourselves because... We're not doing enough training to do it, overdo ourselves, okay? So anyone that says, oh, I don't do too much rating, you're going to get overwork, you know, um, residual fatigue, uh, all that sort of stuff, overtraining, trust me, you've got to be doing a lot of training, a lot, a lot of training for that to happen. Um, and we mix it up really well. That's the best part about all these ergs is that I'm using sort of my experience of knowing there's a time when you need to do Ks. There's a time when you need to do fitness. There's a time when you need to mix it up. And effectively, majority of that, except the last six minutes, so 30 minutes of that should have been base stuff. And the last part was just getting us a little bit more freedom, pushing the heart rate up a little bit higher. And that's what we want to do. We want to just keep, the heart needs to know we're not just sitting at this level all the time. Oh, we're going to push it up a little bit. And that's basically what we're doing with this. Okay, but... That's us today, okay? Good warm down. Uh, you know, get some stretching, limber up, do all your bits and pieces that you have to, and um, we'll be back here soon. Right, cheers, team. Oh, sweaty.